Hey, Chef Austin with EverythingKitchens.com. We're going to be unboxing the Breville Custom Loaf Bread Maker. All right, let's see what we got in the box. So we have our manuals right here. So we've got this very nice uh, spiral bound instruction book and recipe manual. So this is chock full of recipes. It's got gluten-free recipes. It's got like pizza dough recipes, pasta dough, crusty loaves, uh, basically any function that this has, it has a couple recipes for it. So keep this, read through this, uh, at least through your instruction part so you know every function of your new bread maker. Okay, and we've got our one year limited warranty. So be sure to read through this. Breville does guarantee this guy for one year under their limited warranty. As long as you don't try to bake rocks in it or something silly like that, don't abuse this guy, they will cover it. So uh, very important stuff there, be sure to read through that. And then we've got the bread maker itself. So beautiful stainless steel body. Uh, easy open door right here. So we're gonna put this on our 360 view so you can get a closer look. So the Breville Custom Loaf has a beautiful brushed stainless steel body. It's got its logo on the front right here. We'll turn this around. You're going to see some nice uh, cooling vents. So this guy will heat up to cook all your bread. So it's got cooling vents all the way around it. Uh, the most interesting feature back here, though, is this nice cord wrap. So when you're done with your bread maker, you can wrap the cord right around these pegs right here. And it's very nice that they did that. A lot of appliances don't have a cord wrap. This is, just makes it easier to store. And we've got their uh, Breville's Awesome plugs right here. It's a standard three prong, but it has this hole right here, so it's easy to plug in and to remove. So kudos to Breville for doing that. I love that they do that. We'll turn this back around here. So nothing uh, too fancy on the outside right here. What's really interesting is all the controls up top. So we're going to our bird's eye view to look at that. So here we are, bird's eye view. Uh, we've got our beautiful bread machine right here. We're gonna talk about what's going inside of our bread machine first. We've got the loaf pan right here. So a uh, nice loaf pan looks like a, your standard bread loaf pan. It's got the handle right here. This is for easy removal and uh, installation. It's got a non-stick coating on the inside. So this is gonna help when you're uh, dumping out your loaf. It's just gonna slide right out very easily. So this installs into our bread maker and we've got the main heating element down there that's what's going to actually bake our bread and this installs right down in here and there's a wing nut that just kind of clips down in there and just like that we have our bread pan installed uh, and then we would install one of our mixing paddles so uh, breville includes two mixing paddles actually they've got this one right here this is actually dedicated for making jam. So this looks like a standard mixing kettle that you find on any other bread maker, but this one they say use only for jam and that is it. So we're not making jam today, we're making bread. So we're gonna use the bread paddle. So what's special about this one, it's metal, it's got a non-stick coating, but the coolest thing is that it swivels up and down. So what that does, that's going to provide better kneading action while this is spinning around. And when your loaf is ready to bake, it's gonna go into this flat position. So it's not gonna make a giant hole in the bottom of your bread like every other bread maker in the world is going to do. So Breville really thought this through. They really found out the problems people have with bread makers and they said, people don't like holes in their bread. Imagine that. So they designed it uh, just for that purpose. So we'll install him right down in there. And just like that, there we go. And make sure it is in the upright position uh, before you start any of your work. So we'll close our lid. The lid has a nice viewing window right here. And there's actually a light on the inside of there. When we turn this guy on, you're gonna see, oh look, there's a light in there. And you can uh, view the progress of your bread without having to actually open this up, lose all the heat, and then close it back and let it heat up again. So, uh, really another cool feature that Breville put in there. I don't see in a lot of bread makers. And speaking of features that you don't see in bread makers, check this out. This is the automatic fruit and nut dispenser. So this is a little latch right here. You would fill this up with uh, some mix-ins for your bread. So say you're making like a Mediterranean loaf, you can add in feta cheese, you can add in olives, close this. And what this is going to do, this is programmed to actually 
open up a little door right here and this is gonna unlatch and mix in all of those yummy ingredients. So most of your bread makers are actually just going to beep and yell at you and say, hey, it's time to add in your stuff, where Breville makes it a true set it and forget it bread maker where it does it for you. So this door will always open no matter what cipher you're on, it's going to do it. Um, but if you don't have anything in there, obviously you're not gonna have any add-ins to your bread. So if you see that happen, that's completely normal. Okay, so let's go over to our interface. So let's peel this off and ta-da, we have Breville's beautiful interface. That's what I love about Breville appliances. They all have this nice LCD, super easy to read and super easy to navigate. Um, so we'll go through the buttons up here first and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of what this guy can do. So Breville actually has a dedicated units button. So that's the weight and temperature, uh, no matter where you're cooking this, if you wanna use uh, grams, if you wanna use Fahrenheit Celsius, you can actually press this units button and it will change it for you. And then it's got a mute button for the beeper. You know how your bread maker always beeps at you telling you, hey, it's on this stuff, or hey, it's time to do this. You can actually mute that and make this completely silent. So that's great because this actually has a delay start feature. And this delay start feature will let you uh, go up to 13 hours uh, beforehand. And you can dump all your ingredients in here and it'll start at the time that you want it to start. So if you want fresh baked bread in the morning and you don't want it to wake everyone up when it's beeping, you can press that mute button, press the delay start, and you have fresh bread right in the morning. So really cool feature there. And then I mentioned before the light button. So that just turns the light on and off. You just have to hold it down and you can do it. And when you let go, it uh, turns the light off. So lots of fun there. And then uh, down here next to the delay start, we've got the modify button. So another awesome feature from Breville is this modify button where you can select whatever program that you want. You can press modify and you can actually modify the settings for it. So if you want to increase the rise time, if you want to increase the temperature, if you want to decrease the temperature, you can modify any of these settings uh, to fit your recipe. So this is great if you live at like a higher elevation and you need to uh, say bake it uh, for a shorter period of time or a longer period of time, or if you live in a climate that's very humid or very dry, that will also affect your baking. So that's what that modify button is great for. And then we've got a cancel button. Guess what that does? It cancels out of the program you're in. So you just press cancel. That's just a basic navigation button. And then we've got a start button that will actually start uh, the recipe once you choose it. It also has a pause feature. So a lot of bread makers don't have this pause feature. This pause feature is used if you want to open up your bread maker and say you wanted to like cut a nice design into the top of your bread before it finishes baking. You press that pause feature, it'll pause everything so you can do that. Or if you want to uh, brush on some egg wash or something like that, you can use that feature uh, for that reason. And then we've got our nice navigation wheel right here. So this is what this is doing. This is navigating through each of our recipes, each of our functions here. And then to select, it's kind of like your old school iPod is you uh, move it like this and then you push in to select what you want. So those are the basic buttons. So here's our menu. We're just going to quickly list what these guys do and what they are. So the first one we have up here is the custom and custom is great if you're wanting to make your own recipe. So you can tell it to knead for this amount of time. You can say bake at this temperature. You can say cook for X amount of time. There is nine different settings in there that you can make. So if you have nine recipes that you absolutely wanted to make yourself, you can use that custom function to program this and it will remember those settings. Uh, then we've got basic. That's just your basic white breads. And then if you scroll down one more, you're gonna see a small white triangle on rapid. So that means it's a basic white bread and it's going to be using the rapid rise uh, yeast. So that's going to uh, cook a bit faster. The yeast is going to do its thing a lot faster than your traditional yeast. So, and you're going to see that pattern on a lot of these. So if we go down to whole wheat, if you're making whole wheat bread, you can do the rapid rise whole wheat bread. And then gluten-free. Uh, I like that this has a gluten-free function because gluten-free bread is one of the hardest things to find at the store that actually tastes delicious. So this will make delicious gluten-free bread. Um, at the store, it's gonna be crumbly and gross. Um, so a lot of people say, oh, I'm gluten-free, I can't have bread now, so sad. You can actually make gluten-free bread right in the bread. And then we've got crusty loaf, that's gonna make like 
a really hard and rigid crust um, on your loaf. We've got sweetbreads, so that's going to be uh, like cakes, pound cakes, things like that that you can make in your bread loaf. We've got yeast-free bread. If you can't have yeast for some reason, you've got a yeast-free option, and the recipe book actually has a couple of nice recipes for yeast-free breads. And then we've got the dough function, and the dough function is if you want to put all of your dough ingredients into the bread bowl, you can actually have it knead everything and proof everything and it'll rise, and then you would take it out of here and you would say, oh, I'm gonna make a pizza crust, and then you roll it out, or if you're gonna make like croissants or a very long French loaf of bread, that's what that dough function is for. You're not gonna bake it in the bread bowl itself, you're just going to do all the work right before that. And we've got pizza, uh, so that's one of the sub-functions of dough is you want to make a pizza dough. A lot of people make pizza doughs in the bread maker. Uh, same with pasta dough. So if you want to make pasta, there's a dedicated pasta function. And then we've got bake only. So this is great if you already have your dough made or if you go to the store and you buy pre-made dough, you can just toss it in here, use the bake only function, and it'll just work as a standard oven. And then last, we've got the jam function. Uh, it, that's that special jam paddle that we showed you earlier. Uh, this can actually uh, do the right temperature for jam, and it's going to constantly be storing that for jam as well. So can't have fresh baked bread without a delicious jam. So, and that's about it. So uh, it's kind of a what you see is what you get. Um, it's very customizable, like I said. You can use that modify button to modify any of these uh, to your desire. And it's uh, the delay start feature again time it, have fresh baked bread in the morning. This is a very, very simple bread maker. It's got one of the easiest to use menus I've ever seen on a bread maker. And that's what Breville does really good, is making very high-end appliances that are extremely easy to use. So I'm gonna show you how to do a basic loaf of bread. So I would choose basic and push in. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna start flashing that crust. Crust means this is the darkness of the crust that I want. So I can go light, medium, or dark. So let's choose medium. And you're going to notice that the time is going to change uh, depending on the setting that you choose. So medium, and then same for size. This can do a uh, all the way down to a smaller one pound loaf, all the way up to a two and a half pound loaf. So, and you're going to also see the time adjust there again. So this is a very smart machine. It's going to adjust the times and temperatures um, of the cycles that it needs to do based on your crust style and based on the size of your loaf. So we're going to do a two pound loaf, hit enter, and we're going to start it. And it's going to, at the bottom here, it's going to show you what it's doing. If it needs to preheat, knead, rise, punch down, bake, keep warm. So it's going to have the progress bar and you're going to see how long is my bread going to take? Three hours, 11 minutes. So you're going to hear it start up already. You just have to walk away now and come back to freshly baked bread. So let's quickly go through a custom loaf. Uh, the custom is a really cool feature. You can make your own recipes with this. So we'll select custom. So it's going to, um, I have a preset one right here. So it has up to nine different functions for custom. So that's one it remembered. So we'll choose a custom and let's modify it. And I'm gonna base this off of, let's say a whole wheat bread recipe. So I'll choose that. And it's going to ask what style do you want your crust. I'm going to say I want a dark crust on this one. And this is going to be a size two pound loaf. So I'll choose two pounds. And here's where it's fun. So it's preheat. If I need, some, need it to preheat, I can set the temperature. So let's say I want it to preheat at 65 degrees for 30 minutes. If I needed to uh, choose it longer, 35 minutes. And then it goes through the knead cycles. So the first knead, say it's going to mix and knead it for four minutes. The second need, that's when it's going to develop all the gluten. I need that a bit longer, so let's say 20 minutes. Uh, then rising, you let your dough rise up. Depending on your climate and your environment, you may need to uh, make this a little bit cooler, or you may need to make this a bit hotter. And then it's going to let it do it for X amount of time. So 50 minutes is default, so that's fine. Uh, punch down your dough. Um, it'll punch down 10 seconds as the default. You can increase that, decrease that and then let it rise again, the second rising. Do that again, punch down again. And if you need a third rise, um, if you didn't need it to rise a third time, you can just set this all the way down to zero. So very cool feature there. You can skip some of these uh, settings if you don't need them. And then baking time, uh, you can change your baking time to whatever you need. So an hour baking time at whatever degrees you want, it's at 288. We can increase that all the way up to 300. 
And then if you wanted a keep warm function after your bread is baked, you can keep it warm for as long as you need. Or if you don't want to keep warm at all, if you want it to cool down immediately, just change this to zero and there you go. And now you've set your custom setting to the your perfect recipe and you don't go in and modify this if you want. And like I said, there are nine different custom features on there. So really cool. If you are a home chef, this is a great option that the Breville offers. All right, so we're gonna test out our Breville bread maker and we're gonna make a gluten-free loaf of bread. So what I've done here is I've just dumped all of my ingredients into my bread pan. Uh, you just have to do it in the right order. That's the most important part. It's mostly liquids on the bottom and then powdery stuff on top. And that's gonna get you a properly made loaf of bread. So we're gonna lower this in here and lock them into place. We'll close the lid. And this is so simple. I'm just going to choose the gluten-free function on here. And I want a medium crust. And this is a two pound loaf. And I press start. And it's going to do the rest for me. It's going to knead everything. It's going to mix everything. It's going to let that yeast rise. It's going to bake it. I don't have to touch this for another two hours and 50 minutes until my bread's actually done. So we'll let this go and we'll come back to some perfectly made bread. gluten-free loaf easily slides out like that got a nice brown loaf and on the bottom you'll see a very minimal hole because that kneading paddle flopped down as this was baking so that's really nice I like that Revel did that let's take a nice cut into this and we will see what it looks like So it looks like we got a nice crust on our bread. You can see the nice dark brown on the outside here. We've got very uniform inside, um, nice little air bubbles, not a whole lot of big air bubbles. And especially in a gluten-free bread, that's pretty rare. So it looks like the Breville did a pretty good job evenly heating this all the way throughout. Um, the only thing I'd say it could have done better on is the top could have domed maybe a little bit more. Um, it's just kind of that traditional sandwich shape right now. I'm a fan of the nice dome, but other than that, it looks like a great loaf of bread. So let's take a tasty of this and see how it is. That's very good. The crust is nice and crispy, like a real bread. The inside is very light and fluffy and has a nice moisture to it. It's not very dry. And I've got my Italian herbs in there. Those really come out. So this is a very, very good piece of bread. So the Breville did an awesome job. If you guys have any questions at all about the Breville, leave us a comment below and we can answer your questions. And you can check out everythingkitchens.com to see all the specs on this guy. And if you see any other products there, uh, be sure to leave us a comment and we'll do an unboxing video of it. So be sure to like this video and subscribe for more chef tips and unboxing videos from Everything Kitchens. Hey, it's Chef Austin with EverythingKitchens.com. We're going to be unboxing the Breville Custom Loaf Bread Maker. All right, let's see what we got in the box. So we have our manuals right here. So we've got this very nice uh, spiral bound instruction book and recipe manual. So this is chock full of recipes. It's got gluten-free recipes. It's got like pizza dough recipes, pasta dough, crusty loaves. Uh, basically, any function that this has, it has a couple recipes for it. So keep this, read through this, uh, at least through your instructions part so you know every function of your new bread maker. 
Okay, and we've got our one-year limited warranty. So be sure to read through this. Breville does guarantee this guy for one year under their limited warranty. As long as you don't try to make rocks in it or something silly like that, don't abuse this guy. They will cover it. So uh, very important stuff there. Be sure to read through that. And then we've got the bread maker itself. So beautiful stainless steel body. Uh, easy open door right here. So we're going to put this on our 360 view so you can get a closer look. So the Breville Custom Loaf has a beautiful brushed stainless steel body. It's got its logo on the front right here. We'll turn this around. You're going to see some nice uh, cooling vents. So this guy will heat up to cook all your bread. So it's got cooling vents all the way around it. Uh, the most interesting feature back here, though, is this nice cord wrap. So when you're done with your bread maker, you can wrap the cord right around these pegs right here. And it's very nice that they did that. A lot of appliances don't have a cord wrap. This is, just makes it easier to store.